Hi everyone, it's me Janine, aka Just Jits here. So here I am ready to go over more inventory that I end up getting at my local auction place that I wasn't able to go full in detail with all the uh, dog toys that I end up getting during that auction where I spent 500 bucks, which everybody knows that's my golden rule, $500 and no more for my local auctions. So if anybody's watching for the first time, I am a reseller and I go to my local auction places to buy inventory to sell on my eBay store under Just Jets. So here I am making another video on the top quality merchandise that you can get at a reasonable price if you go to your local auction place. So during one of my videos where I showed you guys all the different items I got, uh, one of them was the dog toys where I got dog pillows for Christmas time, but I also got a lot of dog toys. So I'm here to go over that with you guys so you guys can see the quality stuff that you end up getting at your local auction place and the stuff that is you can make a good profit of it, profit out of it, but at the same time get good quality products for your customers so you can keep getting those return customers back. So this is pretty cool in this video because I'm gonna visually show you all the dog toys that I end up getting to gather in one big mountain so you can visually see wow that's a lot of inventory for 500 bucks so remember we end up I end up getting a whole bunch of other stuff from that auction place that I shared with you in that video uh, just to give you a uh, an idea on it and if you missed that video for $500 I end up getting those um, those uh, what do you call it? Those phone chargers and stuff for your Android phone and stuff. And I end up getting like 52 of those <laughs> in all different colors and stuff. And then I end up getting like electric toothbrushes and children's underwears and little um, birds for the holidays and stuff, little decorations. And I also got the Harry Potters and that one too, which is the Ad Advent. Uh, calendar I end up getting in that one as well so I got several of those so a lot of the stuff sold already and but now I finally have the space and the time to go over all the dog toys that I end up getting which is is pretty wild and comical because I thought at first I'm like oh they don't have squeakies on them they're broken and I come to find out I had no idea that they end up was um, there was silent squeakers they're called so only your dogs can hear it so you can press it like you would a normal uh, dog toy but as a us as us humans we don't hear the squeakiness only the dog hears the squeakiness so we can entertain our dogs but also don't have to deal with the squeaking ourselves so that's pretty wild that I ended up finding that out when I first got them so it's always important to always read the tags on your stuff so you know exactly what you're getting <clears throat> so it doesn't come to a surprise when you're like wait a minute it's broken no it's not it's just that the dog can hear it and you can't so you can keep yourself sane that way so I got these little uh, gators that actually had that tag on them so I got several of them that come in bags so a lot of the stuff comes three per bag so I got three of them per bag and I end up having one two, three, four, five. I'm getting five of these bags at three gators each in them. And they all are the ones that where when the dogs uh, bite on it, they can, they can hear the squeaky but not you. So you can keep yourself sane that way when you get uh, these stuffed animals like this. So I got all these here. And then I end up getting all the, the uh, panda bears, which come three per bag so I'm going to show you how many I got in all of this here right and then I also got a few of the um, little turtles and I got about six of them now mind you what I'm trying to do right now is I'm going to consolidate all of it together and then what I want to do is I'm trying I was trying to figure out what's the best way for me to display them and to sell them on eBay because since they're so small I could do them individually but instead of that I always try to give deals out but I can also try to make a profit at the same time so what I was thinking of doing and since I don't have a whole lot of the um, the, with the turtles I only have six of them so I'm going to I'm only going to take six of my gators then and six of my pandas and then I also have 
the squirrels too. And I'm going to do take six of the squirrels and I'm going to match them all up. So each set is going to have a squirrel, a gator, a turtle, and a panda. So that's two, four, six, eight. So that's four uh, four individual items all together. I'm going to sell them for like eight eight dollars for four items. Comes out to two dollars a piece. So the customer I feel is going to get a good deal. At the same time, I'm going to make some type of profit too because I have so many of them. So this is my strategy thinking on when I get a lot of, of Pacific merchandise on how to consolidate it and make it more profitable. So that's what I was thinking about doing here. And I was like, you know what, let me make a video because I never showed in any of my videos that I did on how much of this, these dog toys I ended up getting. Just so you guys can also see how much you get from going to a local auction place so i'm gonna this is gonna be pretty comical because i normally don't like putting all my stuff out because it takes me forever to sort it back in but i think it'll be pretty cool for you guys to see it so as you guys can see i said i have about what i said about six of these bags with the with the little gators in them and then i have two full bags full blue two full trash bags full of these squirrels that come three per package. I already took one out of here already because I was trying to consolidate them. And then also I got the panda bears, right? All in trash bags. So I'm going to just dump it all out so you guys can get the visual on what I'm talking about. Um, because I think visuals are so much better than just talking about it. Uh, of course it's going to make more of an impact. So first of all, this bag right here is full of little squirrels so let's go check them out and how many i end up getting look at this ah they're falling all over the place so i hate this because i didn't get a chance to move the camera over so i'm just going to go and grab all the ones that just fell on the floor i tried to aim it really good and get it all in one spot but obviously that did not work for me so now i got to pick them all up so, yeah, talk about trying to plan something to show you guys something and the stuff ends up falling all on the floor. Okay, so I got all the ones off the floor now. Now, so you guys can see the visual, now I'm going to show you guys all the pandas too. So, here, let me move the camera over just so you can get the visual of all my squirrels. Alrighty, let's turn this around real quick. So here's the mountain of squirrels. Look at all this. Look at all of these dog toys of just the squirrels. Look at it all, guys. Is that crazy or what? A big mountain of dog squirrel toys. Crazy, right? So now I'm going to flip the camera over. And now I'm going to show you guys how many we have of those pandas. I'm going to go grab the big bag of the pandas so I can visually show you guys that too. And here we go, dumping it all out here. Alrighty. I mean, I have to dump it all out anyway because I have to sort it out. So it's not like I am, I have to, I'm just doing it just for the video. I'm actually doing it because I actually also have to sort it out so I can figure out how many I have of each so I can start doing my posting too. But I thought, I thought it'd be fun to spill it all out and show you guys here. So check it out. I'm going to back up so you guys can visually see. Look at all the squirrels and the pandas. I mean, is this like crazy or what? Just look at it all. It's nuts, right? It just keeps going and going and going and going. It is that nuts that you can get this much dog toys <laughs> at an auction place. It is just nuts. It's absolutely nuts. And I actually count it too because you got the squirrels have three per bag and the pandas have three per bag. And I actually wrote it all down. And for the squirrels, so these things right here, they have three per pack. I counted it all together and came out to, uh, what, 114 pieces. So I have 114 of these little squirrels. And then the panda, that came out to, turning my handwriting, 54. So I have 54 
of these panda bears. And the cool thing is, is that, so the pandas and the, uh, the panda and the gators, which I just buried the gators, here we go, and the gators, those two both have the squeaky in them that a human does in here that only a dog hears. And the, the squirrel and the, um, the squirrel and the turtles uh, have the squeaky in them. And the funny part about it is that I had my, I, I have five dogs, as everybody knows that watches my videos, and my dogs are sleeping in the living room, so just before I took the squeaky out, because I want to make sure that the squeaky works in them, so I took the panda and I was squeezing it and I brought it out in the living room and all my dogs are laying there sleeping and I start squeaking, you know, I start pressing it to see what they react and it's funny because my dog Jutz and my other dog Baby, they both looked up at me and realized it and the other two are laying there sleeping and I'm trying to squeak and then stupid me, <laughs> I forgot that Two of my dogs have hearing problems. They're because they're old. They're up there in age. They're like four. They're gonna be four. Uh, well, one just turned fourteen years old. That's Honey, and then Buddy. He's fourteen. He's gonna be fourteen in a couple of months. And their hearing's going. And I completely forgot to hurry him. And I'm like, why aren't they reacting to it? I'm like, uh oh, I forgot. <laughs> my dogs don't hear very well. I'm like, oh my god. So I thought that was pretty comical. So let me flip the camera back over. So I just wanted to show you guys that because I think that. It was pretty awesome that I ended up getting all these dog toys like this because as you guys have seen in my previous videos you just never know what you're going to get at these auction places and this is just a sample of the amount of stuff that you get which I'm looking at this thing it's, it's crazy this big mountain of dog toys um, and this is on top of a hundred of the uh, charging cables that I end up getting for your uh, Apple iPhone and stuff on top of the Harry Potter advent calendars which I got at about would I get how many of those I had like 16 of those I think or something like that and those those are all sold too and I ended up selling those for like 20 bucks a piece too and everything so I did really really well with those I, and I also got uh who was it the uh, maternity stuff uh, dresses and the Oral B electric toothbrushes and the the um, the YouTube Barbie dolls and stuff and everything. So I'm talking a nice variety of brand new merchandise at a really reasonable price. I mean, when it all comes said and done, I actually figured it out, and I had a total of 338 pieces. So if you count every single piece of product inside that uh, auction that I ended up winning. I added all, all the pieces up individually for each thing and what I ended up spending it came out to $1.62 a piece it comes out to. $1.62 a piece. So picture that. This $1.62. The Harry Potter advent calendar. $1.62 a piece. And I was selling them for $20. I'm talking and this is brand new stuff so you're now granted once in a while you can get something that might be Damage. I mean, it's no, it's not always a hundred percent guarantee. But I have to tell you, I've been going to this place for over a year now, and very, very, very in in those rare occasions that I get something that uh, was missing a tag on the items because ninety percent of actually ninety eight percent or ninety nine percent of the time I get stuff that um, always has the tags on it, brand new clothing and there might be one that's the tag got snagged off or something like that you know it happens every once in a while but to always get that huge guarantee that you you're always going to get good quality stuff and when I actually when flipping through my book because I logged all the stuff that I get from my um, auction places I log everything down that I end up getting out of that auction and then I end up counting it all up and dividing it by the number of pieces and when I went through my book and I was like wow the most I got was that it, it averages out to that I end up spending per piece the house was like $16.98 and, and, 
it came out to on the on this one but but that was when I spent uh fourteen hundred dollars but it was eighty seven pieces but it was like a lot of electronic good quality stuff I mean it always is um but then my other auction after that I spent uh, that one I spent a little bit more. I spent six seventy three. But remember, this is the tax added into it too. So you got to take that into consideration. Like, unless you are a uh, a reseller that actually has an actual business business that you get that certificate and stuff for tax purposes and stuff. But me, I pay my tax up front, so it's always going to be. You know, I'm always paying more than the 500 because you gotta add in your tax and everything. And this one here, I spent 673, and I had a total of 225 pieces. It came out to 299 a piece for each item technically that I that I spent. So when you really break it down like that, it's it's amazing how much you realize a profit you're making on the stuff because what you're selling it for. Is going to be a lot more than what you paid for it, obviously, because I'm looking here and this one here I spent um, another f uh, 594, and I got 68 pieces, and these and these were all uh, men's jeans, quality jeans, all brand new with tags and everything, and that came out to like eight dollars and seventy four cents a piece. So that's what I'm saying is you just can't beat it. This one I spent. $205 and they were all hoodies uh, Pink Floyd hoodies and I had and I got 43 of them that was like one of the smallest auctions that I ended up getting and they were like all these like Pink Floyd hoodies and stuff brand new with tags and everything and I only spent $205 on that auction and I had 43 of those and that came out to $4.77 a piece so that's what I'm saying is you just can't beat it I mean there's I got these uh cocktail shakers and I also had uh, Levi's long sleeve hoodies in it and I also had women's gap hoodies in there in that auction so that one auction was a real nice auction I had like a good variety of stuff and it was a total of 123 pieces and I spent $435 on that one so that comes out to $3.53 a piece so when you really break it down like that it's it it blows my mind how affordable it is to go that route so I highly recommend it guys check out your local auction place just google it where you live and see where it's located and check it out you know it doesn't hurt um because you get as I show you guys in my videos my stuff that I show you is just brand new and and it just blows your mind and and it's awesome because the people that buy my stuff online and stuff, um, you know, they put the comments in and they and they're just saying that, like, I had this one person put a comment saying that uh, it is exactly what they were looking for. They haven't seen that in, they haven't seen that style in a long time. So it's it's like because it's because these stores consistently keep getting new stuff consistently. So they have to do something with their old inventory that they have but still make, try to make a profit off of it so when they send it to these auction places you know they're getting stuff that stores don't have anymore so and people are looking for that stuff and but they don't selling it anymore so and if I have it on my website people like you know they're 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 excited that they found stuff that they felt that they couldn't get anymore in the stores and stuff so that's what I'm saying is it's just it's it's awesome so I'm really happy about it and I'm happy to share it with everybody because uh, that's what these videos are about is to help out people that are looking to you know do something on their own make a couple extra bucks and I just try to give good advice on how to do that so because I've learned it from watching videos and I'm passing that on to you guys so hopefully this video helps you guys out on uh, making a decision on what you guys want to get your inventory from and stuff and I am also looking into uh, my auction place too this week they actually have some really good stuff that I'm checking out so I'm gonna be looking at it probably tomorrow and seeing if the stuff is worth bidding on it depends on it because sometimes the pictures um, don't do it justice and stuff and I wanna make sure that I'm getting good quality stuff um on everything sometimes so I really do check out stuff which I mean I I always do but I just like to um if I have the opportunity to really check it out I'm going to 
take that opportunity. Uh, so that's what I'm going to probably do tomorrow is check it out and see if I'm interested in what they have going on this week. And if it looks good, then I'm going to be definitely doing a video on it because every single time I come back from the auction place, whether it's from an auction or by an app palette, I've always done a video on it to share um, my good finds with you guys. So, And I'll definitely be doing a video. Uh, there goes my phone. Uh, so there goes... Um, another video uh, I can hopefully uh, get out to you guys if I find something this week that's uh, worth getting and reselling so please look forward to that next video and also in my last video I did mention about uh, me going back to Goodwill just to check it out and see because uh, I've only been there one time uh, about what was it two weeks ago I think I said it was that I went there just to go in and check it out because I haven't been there in, like over a year and when I went there, I saw how the prices were like a little high than they were the last time I had been there. Like in over a year, it's amazing how much prices went up on stuff. So I was thinking about going there and doing a video on it. So I'm still tossing that idea around and I'll give you guys a heads up and you'll be seeing that video if I do decide to, to go there and check it out. Uh, but also if I do good on this upcoming auction or buy it now palette i'll definitely be uh sharing that with you guys on my next video so hopefully you guys like this video and please hit the subscribe button and the like button if you guys are liking what you're seeing and again anybody that hits the subscribe button it is a hundred percent free um and it's just to let you guys know when my next video is coming to help you guys out in uh checking out what's out there in the reselling world so take care, guys, and thank you for watching.